Hi friends! Today we're going to go over my 2020 reread project. Although I do want to spend a good amount of time working on my ridiculous amount of unread backlist titles, I also did not reread a single book last year and I miss it. I miss rereading. I typically reread Harry Potter every couple of years. I typically reread most of the books from the Shadowhunter Chronicles every few years. I have reread Vampire Academy. I have reread the Witchland series. Like there are series that I reread quite often. And then there are some that were absolute favorites that I haven't read since then or books that I read from like 2005 to 2014 time frame that I remember liking at the time but don't really remember a lot about the plot. So my goal for 2020 is to reread some books. A lot of these are trilogies. A lot of them I've read either in 2018 or 2019 so they're fairly recent reads. I enjoyed them and I don't feel like I spent maybe enough time with them or we didn't talk about them enough or it's a world I want to revisit. There are a lot of different reasons why I put these on this list but I have a list of 24 books. I basically chose like for two a month if I get through the 24 of them that's great if not I'm just gonna push them into the following year. I'm not like giving myself like a specific number. If I go through all 24 of these and want to start something different I can do that too. These are the books that I want to be my next rereads whether it's this year, next year, or the following year. These are the ones that I want to focus on so let's go through them. The first two are both by Crystal Sutherland and they are a semi-definitive list of Worst Nightmares and Our Chemical Hearts. If you watched my top 10 authors of the decade video, which I will link in the description box below as well in the cards, Crystal Sutherland is one of my favorite authors of the last decade. I read a semi-definitive list of Worst Nightmares twice in the same month. I have a full review video for this I will also link. I absolutely loved this book. It changed my perception of life a lot. Changed my life. This book changed my life. I'm, I mean there's no other way to put that. It, it did. And Our Chemical Hearts, there's some plot twists and some things that happen in this book and I will say Crystal's writing is not for everybody. It's really weird. It's whimsy. It's dark. There's a lot of speculative elements to it. It's just plain weird but it's so good. I love everything about both of these books. Absolutely adored them so I want to reread both of these very soon. The next book was also one that I read last year and it is This Heart of Mine by C.C. Hunter. Again this was an amazing book, an amazing read. I bawled my eyes out. I love C.C. Hunter's writing style. Just the way that she constructs a novel I really enjoy. I definitely want to get some to some of her backlist as well but this book was just real good and I want to visit these characters again. I think is probably the main reason why I want to go over this. And also as a writer I do like to reread stories of books that have writing style that I enjoy because I'm not sure that I've completely developed my own style of writing. So I like to reread what others do to like pinpoint what I like about it and try to figure out if that works for me as well. A lot of the reread project is me looking at things objectively, what I like in a story and what I need to focus on as a writer as well. And then we have Well Met by Jen DeLuca. The sequel to this is coming out later this year. It's in my most anticipated books which you should also have seen already. Link down below. I loved this book so freaking much. Just absolutely adored this book and I want to reread it. I just read it like three months ago but I want to reread it. Leave me alone. This next grouping is a series and it is the series that I point people to when we discuss things that are a little darker that don't necessarily have like a perfect happily ever after ending. Even the main character doesn't necessarily have that perfect happily ever after ending. There are a lot of very interesting things in it but I don't remember a lot about the plot itself other than I enjoyed it for that fact. I read it a very long time ago. It was published in 2002. The first book was published in 2002. I feel like you know I want to recommend it to people but do I still enjoy it? I don't know so I need to reread it. This is the Wicked series by Nancy Holder and Debbie Piquet and it is um, this is a bind up of the first two novels Witch and Curse and then a bind up of the second two novels Legacy and Spellbound and then the final book is Resurrection and this one was published in 2009. So between 2002 and 2009 all of these were 
were written. Mostly what I remember about the Wicked series is that it follows a girl named Holly, I believe is her name, and she has, I believe, either close in age cousins or they're twins, cousins, and they, Holly's parents die and she ends up, this is not a spoiler, it's how the book starts, her parents die and she ends up having to live with her cousins. I can't remember, which is why I need to reread it. The next thing that I want to reread is the Trill Trilogy by Amanda Hawking. They are Switched, Torn, and Ascend, and these books follow a girl who is a troll change lane. She finds out that she was not actually born human, she was born a troll, and then her family traded her out with a human baby. And I think the interesting thing about this story too is that the story starts out with Wendy who, when she was a small child, her mother was convinced that she was a monster and she tried to kill her. And so her mother is in either a mental institution or in prison, one or the other. Her mother's not around and her thinking that she was a monster and she turns out that she was right. So, and again, that's not a spoiler. It's on the back of the book. It's just a really interesting way to start a story. So I love this world. I love this world so much that I also plan to read the Canaan Chronicles, which take place in the same world but follow a different main character. They are Frostfire, Ice Kissed, and Crystal Kingdom. And I'm not gonna lie, like this cover is the reason why I looked into these books. I looked at this and went, I need to have these. I realized that there was, it was a second part of a trilogy, a second part of a series. So I reread those, I reread those, and then these, and then here we are. There is another set of these coming out later this year, and I talked about those in my most anticipated releases as well. Next is a trilogy that I loved that I don't think I talk about enough on my channel, and that is Hunter by Mercedes Lackey. They are Hunter, Elite, and Apex. And this series follows a girl who lives in like a post-apocalyptic kind of world. It's post-apocalyptic, but it's also a fantasy, and that the world ended based off of monsters coming from other dimensions and when those monsters started coming from other dimensions the hunters were gifted with the power to call um, these creatures to our world to help fight the monsters and so it follows joy the main character is a hunter and she has an absurd amount of animals that she can call more than most people can and she's tried to keep it a secret for a long time because she uses her creatures to protect the small village that she's from, but she is found out and she has to go to one of the main cities where they train you and um, it's kind of like a reality TV show aspect and it was a really, really good series. I really enjoyed it. So I want to reread it because I there are some things about the plot that I don't remember very well, so I want to reread those. The next trilogy is the Something Strange and Deadly trilogy by Susan Dennard. They are Something Strange and Deadly, A Darkness Strange and Lovely, and Strange Never After. I read these in 2019. They absolutely fucking destroyed me. The first couple of books were really fun. They're not necessarily lighthearted, but they were really fun to read. I love the main character, Eleanor. She's a fun ride. The third book ended in a way that just utterly destroyed me. And I talked about it in like my review for the book, my wrap up for that month. I had like a little teeny tiny baby chat with Susan on Twitter about how much I appreciated the ending. Like I know it destroyed me and all of my feelings and everything for the rest of my life, but I appreciate an ending like that because it's not something that you get a lot of the time and it is a more realistic ending than I think that any other kind of ending would have been a disservice to the characters. At the same time, it fucking destroyed me. Why do I want to reread it? Why do I want to be destroyed again? I just really love this world. I love the magic elements of it. I love, there's just so much. It's zombies. Zombies. It's got like voodoo hoodoo. It is so good. It's, it's a science fiction in that it has magic of a sort, but they use science to combat the magic. It's so good. It's so dang good. And travel, because like the first place takes place in England, and the second book takes place in Paris, and the third book is in Egypt. Travel, fun, zombies, magic, heartbreak, what more could you want? And the last three are, again, a trilogy, 
and they, I read them fairly recently, like probably within the last six months, but I just really liked the world and I really want to read it again. And that is the Hex Hall series by Rachel Hawkins, which are Hex Hall, Demon Glass, and Spellbound. I previously read Rachel's Rebel Bell series and much like everyone else. I loved the first book and the second two were pretty dismal. This series I love so gosh dang much. It follows a girl who has magic and she breaks, she kind of breaks the law and gets sent to this boarding school, which I love a boarding school story. I'm writing a boarding school story. Of course I love them, <laughs> but she gets sent away to this boarding school for people who uh, are misbehaving with magic. So there's fairies and witches and werewolves and vampires and all kinds of crazy things there. And her classmates start coming up murdered and they think that her roommate is the one that did it. And it's like this whole spiel, this is huge spiel. And the series takes all of these unexpected twists. There's that heartbreaker at the ending that Brianna and I both hate. Brianna at Rainy Days and Stormy Nights. I'll link her down below. I convinced her to read this series. And, and I broke her too. I broke myself. I broke Brianna. It's great. Yeah, and I want to I wanna relive these. So I'm going to reread them. So those were the 24 books that I plan to reread in 2020 or attempt to reread in 2020. Let me know in the comments below if you have read any of these or if you are interested in reading them or doing a reread because I would love to buddy read them with you. I'm not the best buddy reader, but I'm trying a little harder. So <laughs> if you would like to buddy read any of these with me, if they're sitting on your shelf, some of them I know are backlist titles. A lot of them are backlist titles. Let me know in the comments below if you want to buddy read any of these. I would be happy to do that and then we can discuss things because again, I love all of these things and that's why I want to reread them. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos Mondays, Wednesdays, bonus videos on the weekend. January I'm doing the 1st through the 13th because I have a lot of content so if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future make sure you subscribe and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!